Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here, continuing with our 100% walkthrough of Crash Bandicoot 4. In this video, I'll take you through the level A Crate Escape, which is a pretty short and easy level in my opinion, but there are a couple of uh, somewhat tricky boxes you may need some help with along the way. As with all the videos, I'll show you how to grab all the gems, which includes 80% of the Wumpa Fruit. I'll show you where all of the crates are. I'll make sure to show you where to find the hidden gem. And we'll make sure to try to minimize our deaths if we want the death-related gem. Zero deaths get you gets you that beautiful, perfect relic. For this level, it's somewhat straightforward, but it does use Dr. Uh, well, Nero Cortex, which, in my opinion, is a very hard-to-handle-and-learn character, as they're pretty inconsistent. At this checkpoint, you'll have 21 boxes, by the way. Overall, it's pretty simple to try to figure out exactly how all of this works. It's just a little in unfortunate, in my opinion, that it, he doesn't handle all particularly well. Uh, make your way through the level until the next checkpoint, and I will also be showing, as I always do, I'll be showing you how many crates I have at all the key checkpoints in the level, so that you can keep up with me. At this checkpoint here, we're at 26. Right here at this jump up, you want to make sure to get the box in front of you and the box behind you. The box behind you just allows you to grab the hidden gem, but you do have to backtrack. For this section, you should be able to count how many cars in each section there are. So backtracking is really easy. Uh, just, you know, make sure you find the pattern before trying to cross if you are trying to minimize those deaths down to zero. For this next section, it seems like kind of difficult, like you might get lost or not know what you're doing, but overall it's actually not that bad. There's really not that many ways you can make a mistake. There are some jump ups here, like I'm going to make this a jelly block, and it can get a little tricky, so you definitely want to try to make these enemies into blocks whenever possible. It'll just make your life a little bit easier, uh, so you don't have to worry about them accidentally hitting you as you're trying to jump around. There is this kind of golden wumpa fruit halfway up you want to grab. I'm just going to ignore all of these little enemies underneath me though and just go straight for the exit of this section.
Schnurgle shit? At the end of the level, you take control of Crash, and I really dislike this part of the game. The controls are really awful and inconsistent, and I found that I would die for pretty much no reason. It was really hard to feel like I knew exactly where I was going to land or where I wanted to land. Uh, but overall, the boxes aren't particularly hard to see. You should see exactly what you need to grab. The problem is if you don't grab it on your first go through, a lot of the boxes are a one-time deal. You'll never be able to grab them if you miss them the first time. And eventually you'll be able to drop down, grab the Nitro Crate, and that should be all your gems and finish off the level. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show, and hopefully I see you soon. Peace.